Okay, this is my kind of race. It is a 20 lap marathon of Suzuka. It is a mandatory pit stop. Will you risk losing precious seconds for fresh rubber? Or do you cling to the slipstream and pray for victory? That is up to you. What I do know is I'm gonna spend my time in my 911 and probably more time in my rust bucket of my M6. I actually do think that is gonna be the car of the week. It looks like it from all of the current leaders on the leaderboard and the top 100 cars, they're almost all M6s. So what are you gonna choose? I don't know. What I do know is we're gonna dive in with the world record holder, see how he handles the track. And uh, in the meantime, subscribe and let's get to this. So we're here with the world record holder. Unfortunately, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I don't know that language. I do know the language, I just can't speak it. So we're gonna come down the first straight. Again, it's another first straight with some good turns. Gonna be a little hectic, but right there, either the 50 or where that pavement is, that's where you're grabbing brake. You're downshifting into third. You're gonna get back on the throttle, come out in third, and then launch yourself forward. This next set of turns is crazy, and it's where you try to grab brake. Those two spots, I don't know. It's grabbing brake, it's throttle management, it's on the chicanes, it's all over your transmission. There's gonna be cars all over you, but the thing to remember is you have 20 laps of this, so don't get yourself in a situation where you fly off the track or you're, you're taking people out or anything. Be patient, let everybody else wreck, you go through it and run the chicanes the rest of the way. That is what I think. Now, after you run through that section, you're gonna come up here, you're gonna slowly look for that turn sign and the red marker. When you get there, that is where you're grabbing brake, and then you're running over that chicane. Get your tires, your left tires, driver's side. As long as they stay on the red and white, you are good. You will not get a time penalty. Use the track. Track management is so key here, especially with those two turns. You gotta just be able to send it and you gotta be able to run the chicane. VR definitely helps me with that. Up here, what you're looking for is the end of the chicane on the right-hand side. That is your next braking marker. When you get there, you're grabbing brake. You're downshifting into first. Hugging the chicane, hitting the apex, coming out in second to stop wheel slip. Launch yourself forward again. And then stay on the throttle. Run through your gears. You gotta be able to manage this track. Hugging the chicane up here like it's your mom and it's the last time you've seen her in a while. And then it's that sidewalk. You're looking for that sidewalk. That is your next brake marker. When you get there again, you're grabbing brake. You're downshifting for this next serious turn. If you can't manage these turns, you're gonna lose so much time on a 20 lap race. Using the chicane, using the track, 20 laps, a small error every single lap can add up to huge time differences. And you wanna be able to hit this next straight full throttle and get as much time here as you possibly can. This next set of turns, you're gonna hit full throttle again. Do not come off the gas, do not grab brake. And then coming up here, you're looking for the 100 marker. This next set of turns, if you mess up, you're done. At the 100 marker, grab brake, downshift into first, and again, use the chicane. Keep the driver's side tire on the red and white. Keep the passenger side tire on the red and white there. Use the chicane, run it over, and then jump back on the throttle. You need to master that set of turns. It's right before the finish. You're gonna throttle out, and you are gonna do awesome. I know you will. <laughs> 